Today's biggest news uh, is that I'm pleased to announce we have modified our joint drug prevention and treatment program to provide for unannounced random blood testing for the detection of human growth hormone during the regular season beginning in 2013. I'm Matt Waymeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. On Thursday, Major League Baseball announced significant modifications in its drug testing program, including random in-season blood tests for human growth hormone. MLB Commissioner Bud Selig talked about the upcoming changes. I just can't emphasize to you enough when I think of all that's going on relative to the, to, uh, the steroids and drugs and everything that it's been a lot of conversation again the last day or two. Um, think of where we were and, and uh, how we've arrived at this day. I, I, I meant what I said to everybody. This is a proud and a great day for baseball. We'll continue to be a leader in this field and do whatever we have to do. On Wednesday, we learned that no former players will be enshrined into the Hall of Fame in 2013 after nobody earned the required 75% of the vote from the Baseball Writers Association of America. On Thursday, former players began to discuss the results. Longtime Astro Craig Vigio garnered the most Hall support with just over 68% in his first year on the ballot. When you look at all the Hall of Fames, um, that's what makes baseball pretty special pretty unbelievable i mean we're not letting six guys in every year i mean you had a list of a lot of guys that were very qualified and and um nobody was let in and it just says it says a lot about you know if you're able to get in there how special that building really is with the 2013 hall of fame vote in the rearview mirror we can now look ahead to the 2014 ballot when several more great players will be added to an already crowded field that list includes Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, and the big hurt, Frank Thomas. There's a couple guys on the ballot that I was a little disappointed and didn't get in. You know, Tim Raines, Jack Morris, uh, for me as a kid, Dale Murphy. It's, it's going to be an uphill battle, I'm sure, for everybody when you got so many guys on the ballot at one time. But uh, I hope the voters really look at the things that uh, the new guys really, really accomplish next year. For more on these stories and the latest news on Justin Upton, stay with MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.